We're here at SJ Dimmock Engineering Limited, who are mold tool makers, and their Joe Mars machines play a crucial part in making their business a success. So, Jamie, what is it you're making here at SJ Dimmock? Uh, we specifically make injection molds for the plastics industry. And now you've got four machines from Eurospark. So talk me through those machines. We have two of the smaller machines, which are the JM32Zs. We initially bought uh, one of the smaller ones and the 50Z. We liked them that much that we bought a further 32Z. And then after that, we decided to buy the J Mars wire machine as well. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so why did you choose? Of course, you've got different capacities, but why have you continuously chosen to choose the same brand? Uh, the good thing about them in, is that they're, uh, they're incredibly versatile. We wanted to utilise some better technology. And um, these ones were absolutely brilliant. The, the value for money is incredible. And uh, what types of applications are you using on these machines? We specifically use them for um, creating our cavities for our injection moulds. Um, they're incredibly good for achieving very consistent finishes. Tolerance and based on power is very, very good. Um, the more important, most important thing to us is the versatility of it, the ability to be able to clock the electrode in all directions. We're really, really happy with them. Okay, and tell me about an application that you've got on there on the machine at the moment. Well, currently at the moment, I've got an electrode for um, a cavity that we're doing for a customer. Um, the particular mould we're doing is what we call a one plus one impression mould which means it makes um, one impression of two types of mouldings. So what we do, we create both sides of the, the cavity with mirrored electrodes. First, we manufacture the electrodes on our VMC machines in copper or graphite. Then we mount the graphite and copper to the machine. Uh, we date them up on the machines with X, Y and Z. And then we burn them into our, to the given depth and given finish that we need. And how long does that take on the machine? Uh, it really does depend on the surface area. Some smaller electrodes, minutes, whereas this, this particular one I'm doing here is upwards of 15 hours. And how are you achieving that fine surface finish that you've got? Uh, literally just by use, utilizing the fuzzy settings or if to, to suit an application, we use the machining parameters that it allows you to adjust on the machine. And tell me about this fuzzy setting. What's this fuzzy control? Um, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, you go up and down through the power and it's, it changes all the machining parameters automatically for you so that when you're using a certain type of power, it has the machine in its optimum position to perform that. I guess a bit like an auto setting on a camera, but when you get used to it, you know you how you can push the machine yourself. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Um, as the years go, I mean, we've had these machines for years now, and it's, it's horses for courses. Some applications you, you use the fuzzy, um, other ones you have to come away from the fuzzy, but I'd say 95% of the time, it's, you use the auto setting because it is, it's, just, it's brilliant for what, what we're doing. You know? So you're telling me they're super reliable machines. Any problems over the years? Not really. No? no? I mean, you no. couldn't get a better well, I say review. not really. is none whatsoever, to be honest. No, no and so going forward, if you were to need um, extra capacity, would you be considering these machines and why? I'm already considering buying another 50, uh, the larger one, because the um, specific mould I'm doing at the moment, I'm literally only able to do work on one die plate at a time. If I had a bigger, another bigger machine, I can then obviously make make use of the time and um, get both plate, both die plates moving through at the same time. Brilliant. And would, it, would you say it's a cost-effective solution for you? Absolutely. Yes, so these machines have more than paid for themselves. We've had the first two for, I would say, in at least eight to ten years now, and they've probably paid for themselves four or five times over.